Let's now take a trip to the National Museum of Natural Science to learn about Taiwan's fascinating ocean heritage. The museum boasts a bountiful collection of deep sea fossils and intriguing skeletons. Recently, the first piece of amber ever discovered in Taidong went on display. We spoke to scholars about how that rare golden gem got here. This little rock looks like any other stone, but inside it hides a lump of amber as large as a yellow bean. It's finally seeing the light of day after slowly forming over 10 million years. This piece of amber discovered in Taidong is made of resin from a tree from the Dipterocarpaceae family. This family doesn't actually exist in Taiwan anymore. Originally, they grew on the volcanic island arc that is now Orchid Island. When that land was folded over into Taiwan, this piece of amber was formed. The unusual gem harks back to Taiwan's prehistoric forests, giving us clues to the country's ancient geology. These exhibits at the National Museum of Natural Science also bring the mysterious world of Taiwan's oceans to life. This is a ligidi, and behind it is a deep sea louse. They can grow up to about 50 centimeters long. This one is a sea spider, which also grows to enormous sizes. One of its legs can grow 30 centimeters long. So when you stretch out all its legs, it's almost 60 centimeters in diameter. Taiwan's waters house a rich ocean ecology with an astonishing array of undersea creatures. The museum is an incredible treasury of knowledge. There are more than 1,800 fossilized shrimp and crabs here, for instance, 10 percent of the whole world's collection. To get deep sea specimens, you need a deep enough sea. Here in Taiwan, the water off the west coast is shallow, but not far off the east coast, it's 900 to 1,000 meters deep, and there are large variations in the undersea topography. So very near Taiwan, you can reach depths which you'd have to travel very far to find from other countries. The museum has agreed to a plan with National Taiwan Ocean University to collaborate on academic research, outreach and education, and preservation of the museum collection. Taiwan's rare ocean landscape is just too precious to neglect.